There is an effort underway to combat childhood obesity, a major public health challenge that affects one of every five children. A research team at the University of South Carolina is looking for parents to enroll their kids in the study. Think they won't like it? Well, take a look at this. They will be all geared up like a superhero. Many of your kids could find it fun, fascinating, and like a game, but it does have a serious benefit. Michael Smith is the project coordinator for the Arnold Childhood Obesity Initiative at the University of South Carolina's Arnold School of Public Health. So glad to have you with us, Michael. Thank you for having me. Well, glad to have you here. So these are the gadgets that the children are going to be wearing, but before we go through what these gadgets will do, talk about the necessity for you guys to study childhood ob obesity, one in five? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know a lot of things um, lead to childhood obesity. We have environmental factors, we have uh, genetic factors, and then also behaviors lead to childhood obesity, um, like physical activity. So it's really important that we have accurate measures of physical activity, and that's really what this study is all about. So as we take a look at some of the video, take a look at these children who are all wired up with these devices, and this is their opportunity to be part of the study. You're looking for children between the ages of 9 and 12, yes. what all will be involved? Yeah, so we once we get them set up with the equipment, we run them through activities that mimic what they would do on a daily basis. So we have some high intensity, intensity activities like uh, jumping on trampolines, some tag games, and then we also have some lower intensity activities like card games, some iPad time. So we're really able to test these consumer wearable devices in all levels of intensity of activity intensity. All right, so let's go through here on your table. We see some of these that you've brought in. So these are what they'll be going through. So walk me through each one. Yeah, so we have an Apple Watch here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a Garmin watch. Okay, you and I are both wearing our own Apple yes, Watches. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have the a Garmin, Garmin Vivo yeah. Active for us. Mm -hmm. And then this is a, a research grade activity monitor that we put, them, put on them as well. So another aim of the study is to compare consumer wearables to research grade devices. So that's what that is. Okay, and what is this contraption? Because this is the one I saw in the pictures yeah. that caught my attention. This is one of the best measures in the field of measuring energy expenditure, which is basically how many calories um, we're burning. So we'll put this on the kids and we're able to see how many calories they're burning throughout the entire protocol. And we're able to compare these readings to the readings we get from the watches. So if a parent says, hey, I'd love to have my child be part of this because he or she realizes the significance of the studies, the child, you're not looking for children who necessarily are overweight already. No, we just need um, kids who are um, able to participate in physical activity. So the requirements then would just be to be able to do the physical activity. Mm -hmm. What kind of time commitment are we talking about? It takes about an hour and a half and the kids really usually enjoy it. So it flies by really fast. They have a great time when they come in. How many times a week? or Just one often? visit. One visit period. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, this isn't like an ongoing thing that they have to commit to. No, there's a possibility we could invite them back for a second visit, but for now it's just one visit, and then the participants get a $40 Amazon gift card for coming Whoa, in. Whoa, say that part again. <laughs> the participants <laughs> get a $40 Amazon gift card for coming in. Wow, Michael, I mean, that's a win-win. Mm -hmm. So what will you do with that research once you get all the data? Um, the goal is to publish on it and then it'll be published in scientific journals, presented at conferences, and then hopefully, hopefully inform our um knowledge about these wearable devices and continue using them in the field. We know that children have become more sedentary because of this, the games, the phones. Mm -hmm. Is this a way to try to say, hey, you've got to put it down and get up and start measuring how much you're up? Yes, definitely, yeah. What about the diet, though, aspect to it? That's a whole other ball game, isn't it? Yes, we also have some studies going on with our group that um, look at diet and ways to improve child's, a mm -hmm. child's diet, but um, that's just not in this study. Oh, yeah, but we know it plays such a, a main role. But the activity level, then, obviously, you're trying to encourage the children to be up and around. What kind of reaction are you getting from the kids who have participated so far? They have a great time. They always want to come back and do another study. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Yeah. And just to have the cool equipment on. Yeah, they think they look like a superhero or a scuba diver or, uh, yeah, they have a great astronaut. I get that a lot. Yes. Um, so they really love being set up with the equipment and then getting to interact with college students on campus and they really enjoy that part too, I think. How long will the study last? I know you've already got it going, but like if someone says, well, we can't, it's a busy month for us this month, will it be going on the next month? Yeah, we'll probably be recruiting for this study for the next six months. So there's plenty of time if they can't get in this month. 
um, we might, we'll probably be going well into next year. Excellent. Let me give you the information on the screen. The wearables for kids study is now enrolling. It is for children ages 9 to 12. They'll go to USC's Public Health Research Center. While there, your child will wear the several consumer wearable devices along with other measures of heart rate and activity. And your child will, will participate in a variety of games and activities with US research staff for, you said about an hour and a half, right? Yes. Up to two mm -hmm. hours max. Now, if you scan this QR code on your screen right now, you can get more information. And Michael, will that take them to where they can register as well? Yes, that'll take them directly to the sign up link. Okay, what do I see in the middle of that QR code? Oh, that's just the. Um, Looks like a, a dinosaur. dinosaur it? When, yeah, when you make a QR code on Google Chrome, that's it like does it. that. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was some special message or something. <laughs> All right, this is Michael Smith from the University of South Carolina's Arnold School of Public Health, and that was the QR code. And Michael, I've put it on my Facebook page. Thank so you. viewers, if you want right now to get your child enrolled, if you'll just go to my Facebook page, it'll be there, and I'll uh, put it on our website as well. Thanks, we appreciate well, that. Thanks for what you're doing at USC, trying to help children with uh, the obesity issue in our state. Thank you.